in the question number 57 we have to find the value of this x and the co value of coefficient of friction and it is given that the energy loss from p to q and from q to r are same in value that means the energy loss from q to r or energy loss from p to q is equal to half of the mgh in other way we can say so therefore from first condition that is energy loss from p to q is equal to energy loss from q to r we get mu mg cos 30 that is the value of friction force into 4 equals to how much the value of this work done by friction mu m g x from here we get the value of x the value of x is 4 cos 30 that is 4 into root 3 by 2 which is which comes to be 3.45 meter now to calculate the value of mu we can equate the this value mu m g x to the half of the value of m g h so mu m g x equals to half of the m g h from here we get the value of mu and the value of mu is 0.29 therefore the correct answer is answer number 4 in the question number 58 in first case let us consider the length of the pipe is l and since uh, this uh, it is given that the fundamental frequency of this pipe is f therefore we can write for f f equals to v by lambda and from this diagram uh, of fundamental corresponding to fundamental frequency we get that lambda equals to 2l that means the value of f is v by 2l in second case in which uh, half of the half of one loop is formed in the air as shown in the diagram that means this length is l by 2 and the if the wavelength of this wave is lambda then we can say that lambda by 2 equals to la, l by 2 equals to sorry l by 2 equals to lambda by 4 therefore lambda equals to 12 which is same as the previous case that means in, in this case also we get the same frequency that is v by 12 therefore f dash equal to f and the correct answer of this question is 1.